From the bottom of the sea to the Big Apple, Asia Society opened its latest exhibition, Secrets of the Sea. The display contains 78 artifacts that were discovered at a thousand-year-old shipwreck in 1998 and it's the first time they'll be on display in the United States. History of shipwrecks, the, of the fact that this collection really leapfrog in time, right? I mean, to imagine so much uh, material staying viable, you know, staying intact for more than a thousand years under the sea. So it's almost like a time capsule, you know, from our ancestors from a long time ago that's coming to here. So I think that we're hoping that kind of, of uh, context would be very interesting for people who know nothing about it. The collection contains ceramics, gold and silver, bronze mirrors, and more that were intended for trade between China and modern-day Iraq and Iran. All in all, the ships originally included 70,000 Chinese ceramics. They were beautifully preserved because of the packing of the goods and the conditions in the Java Sea. We have a very large-scale ewer, which is over almost about a meter tall. Um, and what's fascinating, fascinating about it is that it has uh, a fusion of motifs. It has these very Middle Eastern lozenge shapes uh, incised on it, but then on top of that you see a Chinese uh, cloud scroll. So again, in one piece you see this fusion of Middle Eastern and Chinese tastes. So that's definitely a real highlight of the show. While the museum is excited to display the ancient artifacts, it's also excited to welcome members of the community to witness this cross-cultural networking. We've seen some of our general public coming through the museum and they're simply awed uh, by the fact that these pieces are real and 1,000 years old. Um, the other reason why I think um, people here will be so excited is because they tell a story of trade and of globalization um, that took place more than 1,000 years ago. We tend to think about globalization as being something that's so contemporary, but um, that's not the case. Yeah, we really hope that this will also be something that students of not just the Asian culture, but art history, archaeology, history in general, and maybe even, you know, modern day contemporary politics will look at because it is really a fascinating story of um, how connected the world was in the ninth century. As we look toward the future of globalization, sometimes it's best to look to the past for inspiration, even if it's under the sea. Um, it's important that this shipwreck is here in an environment where um, national rhetoric, not just here but everywhere else, is, uh, is emphasizing difference over a common humanity. I think the material really shows that uh, no cultures developed in isolation, even a thousand years ago, you know, without supersonic jets and you know the internet you see in the objects of this show uh, how you know cultures have influenced each other secrets of the sea and art of the tang dynasty will be on display at asia society until june 4th reporting for sinovision journal i'm christy clements